Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday, March 26th, 2013, also known as spring. You know, spring, when daisies pied and lilacs blue and lady smocks all silver white. Spring, thou with dewy locks who lookest down through the clear windows of the morning. Spring, which is like a woman who says, oh yes, I'm here again and your heart knows I was coming. Spring, when the hope of man as well flowers among the morning dews. A light exists in spring, Emily Dickinson wrote, not present on the year in any other period. Where is this light, Emily Dickinson? Is it down there with the snow? Is it up there in the gray sky of doom? Because that looks exactly like the winter light. Hey, when the Yeti and I first moved to Indianapolis, we dropped off the moving van at the U-Haul place, and the guy was like, welcome to Indianapolis. And I said, how long have you lived here? And he said, oh, about 30 years. And I said, well, what do you think of it? And after a second, he said, well, you gotta live somewhere. I think that's probably how a lot of people feel about their hometowns, but I've really come to love Indianapolis, even in the spring snow. It's an unpretentious city of hidden beauty, which is by far my favorite kind of beauty, and it's lovely even in winter. But I am ready, Hank. I am ready for spring. Hank, the calendar has made me a promise that outside has failed to keep stupid outside always ruining everything. So Hank, I don't actually believe that magical thinking works or anything, but I thought for today's video I would share my favorite poem about spring in the hopes that spring will, like, happen. I also love this poem because it reminds us that poetry is partly in the business of getting us to try to pay attention. It's by E. e. Cummings. Oh sweet spontaneous earth, how often have the doting fingers of purient philosophers pinched and poked thee? Has the naughty thumb of science prodded thy beauty? How often have religions taken thee upon their scraggy knees, squeezing and buffeting thee that thou mightest conceive gods? But true to the incomparable couch of death, thy rhythmic lover, thou answerest them only with spring. You gotta live somewhere, Hank, but you also get to live somewhere. So brace yourself, my friends. Spring is coming. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.